Morning everyone, let's go to school. Uh, first choice of the day is of course skateboard, bike, skateboard, bike, skateboard. Let's take a skateboard. So I go to university four days per week. Uh, uh, the commute is about, I'd say, nine minutes on my bike. We about 11 minutes on the skateboard if I really hurry up. <laughs> Here's the first crossroads. I usually turn right here if I have the mountain bike. But I go straight ahead with the skateboard. I go straight ahead with the skateboard because uh, the road's smoother that way. What is up with this cart? See now we're at uh, just gone ten o'clock. So the so the uh, traffic is really not bad at all. They're riding a bicycle in China is really good but there's one massive problem and that's that um, although violent crime is very low in China um, theft is quite a big problem especially of bicycles so you've always got to think about where you're gonna park it if you take your bike your bicycle that is electric bikes and stuff are okay because they're so heavy if you put a massive lock through the wheel nobody is able to carry them off but a bicycle it's different because it's so light. So, uh, yeah, you've always got to worry about where you're going to park it, but... But a skateboard, you can just take with you. So that's why, I, even though a, a bike is more efficient, I often take a skateboard. University doesn't matter, though, because I can park my bike safely, but... Sometimes I like just to take the skateboard just because it's damn awesome. the white lines because it's smoother you roll faster uh, somebody put these speed bumps in the road not so good for the skateboard wheels so I have to go around Nice parking, bro. So this semester I've got 18 hours per week, just like last semester at the university. And I, yeah, I go in four days per week. My students are pretty great. They're 
they're, they're most of them are older than me actually they're like scholars professors phd people oh speed bumps i went over them oh. and they're gonna go to uh visit like western countries so i prepare their english uh like survival english so they can actually live in the country but also their ielts style you know uh test ready english so they can pass the english tests before going okay getting close now <clears throat> that cart is what um deliveries come on usually in china little electric cart okay i'm on campus now and just to the right is where people get their food students cram in there to get breakfast uh, now I'm arriving at the teaching building. It's going now, let's head to the classroom. Okay guys, hope you enjoy the ride, I'll get back to you later. Hey, hey. Let's go to my office and uh, get my work laptop computer. Okay, I've got everything I think, so let's get back to the classroom. I'll see you later. Okay, so one lesson is about two hours, so first lesson of the day is over. And uh, students are heading off to lunch because it's 12 o'clock. Well, here we go. Uh, all the students have left for lunch. Uh, just us left alone in the classroom. I usually wait for mm, I usually wait for about half an hour till about half half twelve uh, before I go to lunch because it gets so packed and crowded in there. Because what happens in China is people sort of rush off to lunch to get their lunch in early so that they can then have a a long nap throughout the rest of their lunch break. So they all they all dash off at uh, straight after class finishes at twelve. Um, cram their lunch in, in a very packed and busy dining hall, and then have a nap for maybe an hour and a half or something. And everyone does that. It's quite interesting. Uh, I don't really nap, though, because I'm English, so I just sort of hang around and relax, uh, tidy up my things from the classroom, head over to the dining hall when uh, it's less crowded, and uh, just go straight into the next lesson. I tell you what, my skateboard, on a side note, my skateboard has had so much use, like, so much use, but it's fallen in rivers, it's gone through water, you know, heavy rain, bearings are still pretty good, and uh, this skateboard has just had the most incredible history, uh, working history, but uh, still going strong, so... Um, I really recommend, you know, picking up one of these things and learning how to use it because as a form of transport, it's uh, dead useful. Uh, maybe I'll do a video uh, on this topic sometime. But um, yeah, small skateboards are really uh, a, uh, an unsung hero of the transport world, I would say. I uh, swear by these things. They are really, really good. Okay, so it's now uh, 25 to 2. I spent ages in the office just looking at uh, Chinese, a Chinese rap song. <laughs> Trying to learn Chinese through music. It's quite a good method actually. Just now heading over to the dining area. 
and this is the shop here where I get snacks and coffee and stuff but uh, up on the second floor or on the first floor if we use real English is the dining area so without further ado ado without further ado let's go quite a nice day today clearly very low pollution because the visibility is good Always blue, got to choose blue. Got myself some fruit juice and hot chocolate. And this is potato, rice, uh, carrot and chicken. Not bad, not bad. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Okay, so it's uh, 20 past four and uh, this is when I finish on a Tuesday, so I'm on my way back home. I'm going to go home and then I'm going to come back to campus because some of my students have uh, invited me to go and have food at a restaurant on the neighbouring campus. And then after that we'll go to uh, have some baijiu, Chinese alcohol, and uh, do some KTV, do some karaoke singing. I know, me singing, how ridiculous, but all good fun and really one of the reasons why I like to have uh, older students who are sort of my peers, you know, my sort of age range, because you get to do these nice activities with them and really mingle with the students. Hey, hey. So that's always one of the advantages. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and if I'm still alive after this evening, see you next time. Bye-bye.